Welcome back everyone! Welcome back to Let's Play Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. We're still working on our crazy Tempest Magnum um, with a W12 engine and all-wheel drive here. We're pretty much almost finished. There's just a few little bits and bobs over here in the engine part. And we also want to swap the tires out. We've already swapped the rims, but we're now we're going to swap the tires. Not to race tire plus or anything like that, but the slick tire. Oh, there's a slick tire plus now. Wow. Okay, let's do the slick tire plus. 8,000! Well, they're double the price. Yes, I do want to change them. Oh, man. I'm hoping they will... Uh, they will improve the traction on the drag race. I kind of wish you could add really chunky back tires here. Hmm. For extra traction, but oh well. Right, what else do we need to add for this engine? Oh yeah, up top. The radiator and all that stuff. And then we'll be done. Radiator comes in. And the fan. And the battery's already there. That's pretty much it. Is this car complete? No. Rear shock absorber cap, rear suspension arm. Okay. Quite a few things I've forgotten at the back, apparently. Hmm. Interesting. All right, let's see. What have I forgotten? Let's see. Mm, nothing's jumping out at me at the moment. What? Or is it? No! Oh! You'll see something there! Look at those tiny little things there. Ah! A tiny little thing that uh, led to a bigger thing. And that leads to another thing. <laughs> and another thing. <laughs> and the cap then. Yeah. That's quite a bit. And now it's actually complete. The car's value is 161,000. But of course... That's not done yet, because now we're going to put it on the, uh, I wanted to say treadmill for some reason, on the dyno and see how this baby runs. No oil, oh yeah, whoops, and I forgot that one. Right. There we go. Alrighty. Close that and take it to the dyno and see just how much power it's producing now. Uh, originally it was 600 something, but now we're way past 600, way past a thousand, <laughs> 1300. I love it. I love it. All right, let's also do some ECU tuning now and to spare you the pain. I'm just going to jump cut this. I'll be back in a moment. Wow, there we go. That was pretty much instant. Um, didn't have to fiddle around with it at all. 18%. So let's save the tuning and do another test run. Come on! Come on! Power! Well, still wasn't that much of a change, but it's almost 1500 power! Uh, I mean, horsepower. That's insane. <laughs> let's take this thing for a spin, shall we? We could also take it to the old factory, uh, old factory, old factory test track. Let's go go there first for a change. I have a feeling this thing is not going to uh, handle very well. Oh! <laughs> oh my God! Oh bloody hell! I guess the tires do make a change, and of course it's all-wheel drive. <laughs> this really needs a double. Oh bloody hell! Double. Yeah. Oops. I'll get to work on the car again. Uh, this really needs a um, double clutch transmission. Manual will just not do. <laughs> this thing is ridiculous. This thing is absolutely ridiculous. If it's going to be this good at acceleration... Oh man, I forgot. Uh. <laughs> Phantom... I forgot that you cannot hear me here, because this does not get recorded. Um, 
Right. So I forgot that, uh, yes. Um, game, game does not record. I mean, I cannot record the loading parts. Anyway, if this car is going to have the same acceleration on a drag strip and not just go all over the place, that's going to be amazing. Let's try this. <laughs> all right, let's do this. Oh, Okay, that's that's really good. <laughs> Two and a half seconds and I wasn't I wasn't changing gears properly. Over 300 kilometers per hour. Come on. Oh, I'm at top speed. That was eight speed. That was it. How do you have a manual with eight gears? <laughs> let's let's do another run. I want m more. I want below two seconds. It would be nice if you could just put it into automatic mode for the drag race as well, because you don't really have a feel of when exactly to shift, especially when the wheels are, uh, you know, going all over the place. Right. <laughs> yeah, 1.8 seconds! <laughs> oh, man! <laughs> Power! <laughs> oh man, this was bloody awesome. <gasps> One point. Okay, those slick tires and of course the uh, all-wheel drive make a huge difference. 1.8 seconds. That's better than a Porsche 911 Turbo S and better than a Ariel Atom V8. <laughs> Let's return to the garage. This thing is just absolutely ludicrous this will be my shopping car this would what, what i will take to the shops <laughs> look it's got a boot well the fuel tank is there but hey um anyway look at those exhausts man i wouldn't really want to crash in this thing though um probably not the safest but look see that that gear well you, know, you can't really see anything but yeah, that's definitely... Oh, it's actually... Ref the gear knob is actually reflecting the um, ceiling of my workshop. That's funny. Um, yeah, but you can't really have an 8-speed manual gearbox. I mean, you can, but it would be horrible to use. Anyway, you know what? I am not going to sell this car. Look at this. 1,420 horsepower. I'm not going to sell it. I'm going to put it into my parking because I like it. Let's go to the auction and get some more cars, shall we? Yes. Let's go. Ah, yes, the Chinese fish market. Let's see, Maserati Quattroporte, Salem Flamo Drag V8, Malag Drag V6. All right, let's, let's go next. Salem Flamo Drag V8. It's kind of funny. I kind of want the Malag Drag V6. Have we done that thing yet? We haven't, have we? We've done any of them. Well, let's, uh, let's go for this one. And probably the Sakura Moon all-wheel drive W12 as well. We'll buy three of them. This one, the Malak, and the Sakura Moon. Oh, that's it? Alright. That's fine. Right, next car, please. The Malak Drag V6. That's probably gonna poke out of the actually engine bay, because it's gonna be... And here it comes. Current... B oh, it's starting big 2600. Yeah, look at that. It's got an intercooler back there. And wait, the thing can actually fit in there? Oh, okay. <laughs> it's got tiny slick tires! And at the back as well. Oh man, that's funny. Wow, more than 10,000 for this thing. It's in pretty bad condition as well. Garage, please! Look at it! <laughs> Alright, let's go straight to Sakura Moon. And there it is, the Sakura Moon all-wheel drive W12. Oh, it's very low down. The front almost looks like an Audi R8. It's interesting. Oh no, not next car, I need to raise. I'm assuming this is gonna have the same uh, engine as the Tempest, so pretty much the same uh, power. And most likely acceleration and all that as well, but I don't know, we'll see. Maybe it's a quad turbo. Right. Raise, raise, raise. Raise, 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 raise. Wow, quite expensive. Might, we might actually get below uh, 
to 100,000 buying all these cars, but hey, that's fine. <clears throat> we still got lots and lots of money in our bank. Come on. Oh, there we go. Alright, that goes to the garage. And let's quit. So, which one are we going to work on first? <laughs> well, let's guess. Let's do this one. Alright, let's also repair all of them first. 1,000. 1,400. And 2,000. Alright. Let's take all the rusty stuff off first. Um, and repair that. And this thing is in a bad shape. Why can't I take the cooling off here? <laughs> it's on the outside. That's pretty funny. Right. Uh... Repair this stuff. Yes! Haven't destroyed anything. That was nice. Alright, the trunk. The bumper. Oh, I forgot the headlights. Darn it. And the right headlight actually is missing. Let's see if we can repair this one. <clears throat> Alright. Headlight. Uh, the right one. 250 for a headlight. Bloody hell. There we go. Oh, we had a hood from before. That's funny. <laughs> and there. I don't really like the color. We need... Uh... No, 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 no! Uh... I hate you all! Why parking? No! <sighs> because you have to visit... Oh, wait a second, you don't! You can just click on them. Oh, okay. I thought you had to actually visit the garage and and then click on which car you wanted to get into your shop. Okay. Well, that's much better then. Let's go to the paint shop and give it a proper paint. Like... I don't know, like this. There. <laughs> that would be horrible. Um... Or maybe why not? You know what? I'm crazy. Let's go for this. It's like a peach. Like like this color? Oh god. Brightness. Yeah, it's gonna be like this. Let's paint the car. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, why? <laughs> Look at the reflection! My eyes, they burn! Oh, man. Oh, my God. Look at the seats. They're bucket seats. They're sporty bucket seats. That is funny as hell. It's also a sporty steering wheel. Oh, man. That is funny. Right? Everything comes out. Everything. Because it needs to be either repaired or... You know, all that stuff. All right. Let's uh, do the back side as well. The, the engine. Wait a second. Oh, of course, it's a V6 engine. How did they get it in there? It doesn't even... Yeah, look, they're cheating. Well, maybe not, but... What? Does it really fit? Where's the... It almost seems like it shouldn't fit. So basically, the rear passengers are sitting on the bloody engine. Where's the firewall? <laughs> All right. Oh my, that air filter was all kinds of wrong. Alright, let's take all that out. Of course, it's got slick tires. I'm not going to go for uh, slick tires plus because they're very expensive. And I don't think this car will have enough power to actually warrant them. Let's take all this stuff off that we'll have to buy new anyway. The pulley still looks good. Let's see what the condition was. Uh, 26. Wow. <clears throat> it looks pretty good, but I guess not. A V6 in this. Mind you, I've seen uh, on YouTube quite many, many years ago of some people that have taken the Ford Focus Mark II, I believe. Or was it Mark I? Might have been Mark I, actually. And they put a V8 in it. <laughs> And that was just bloody fantastic. I love swap, crazy swaps like that. I really do. There's the rocker arms. Bloody V8. Now all I need to see 
is a huge common 6.7 liter uh, put into a small family car. <laughs> That'd be funny. Actually, I think there are some people um, out there that are doing diesel... Like, they're turning <clears throat> muscle cars... Uh, I mean, turning. They're putting big diesel engines in them. Um, which is kind of funny, because when, you know, when they drive past and they have that really throaty big diesel engine noise, it's kind of funny. <clears throat> Alright, let's take all that out. There we go. Let's take the ignition wires off. Oh yeah, still more stuff we need to take off. The exhaust is a little bit bigger than with the, uh... The normal Malik, isn't it? <laughs> Just a tiny smidge bigger. And that all comes off. And the head. Oh, what's missing? Oh yeah, the spark plugs. What about the spark plugs on the other side? Oh yeah, everything is so rusty, I haven't even noticed them. <laughs> there they are. Oh. The clips need to go off first. Bim, bim. Oh god, I'm just doing bing, bing now all the time. There we go. It's much better. Also the fuel filter, the ignition coil. Uh, I think we're done here. We need to lift the car now. <clears throat> so let's do that. Uh, right, it's on this side. Look at the tires. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Oh yeah, I need to drain the oil. Where's my oil drinker thingy? Come here. You like oil? We'll get some of that oil. Nom 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 nom. Uh, where's the drain? There it is. No, I want to drain the oil. <clears throat> Thank you. Anyway, I really hope you're enjoying the series. Um, you know, don't don't be afraid to comment on the videos, and uh, I'll see you next time, I guess, when we continue working on this beautifully colored car. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.